greetings. I'm sort of putting my own credibility, uh, my own reputation out on a limb, uh, focusing on uh, two things. Number one, the issue of uh, the threat of Benjamin Netanyahu starting a nuclear war. Uh, and number two, uh, focusing on reports in, in on tech show and virtually nowhere else, tech show on YouTube, which is, there's no doubt that it's, it's pro-Iranian and it's prone to exaggerate. Um, it, uh, but um, it doesn't mean it's wrong about this Israeli connected pilot that it's alleging uh, assassinated President Raisi of Iran. Um, so, you know, our only friend in these matters is the truth, right? First of all, nobody knows uh, what happened in that fatal helicopter crash in Iran. Uh, if uh, So it's, it's all speculation. It's only like eight days out from that crash. Um, and that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm joining the speculation. Uh, I, I did a 20 minute self-examination video only on X because there are certain subjects that are taboo uh, on the other social media, you know, saying, uh, is this uh, uh, jag I'm on about uh, net Benjamin Netanyahu pushing the button and starting a nuclear war um, connected, you know, with reality, right? Because you have to be, uh, I, I don't want to ruin my own reputation. And so I re reanalyzed why am I focused on that? <clears throat> and ultimately, um, the way I put it to a uh, close acquaintance of mine is uh, better safe than sorry. You know, of all post-decisional regrets, you know, the worst one is, oh, gee, I should have uh, tried to stop a nuclear war, right? Well, it's too late then, right? Uh, anyways, so, so that's an intro into this continuing submission. Nobody knows what happened to President Raisi, but the circumstances of Israel having assassinated one or three uh, Iran nuclear scientists, the situation of President Trump having assassinated uh, General Soleimani and having to have been talked out of a, a war with Iran by Tucker Carlson when he was in power. I mean, this wouldn't be the first assassination. Um, you know, and it shows too that the U.S. military uh, is is willing and it, it's trained. It, it, I mean, who carried out that assassination of Soleimani? The Pentagon, right? So they probably have their resources trained on situations like, you know, they, they do, they admit it. They, they have um, contingency plans. What if we had to assassinate Fidel Castro? What if this happened? What if that happened? They have war games, whatever it is. Um, I don't want to go on and on. Nobody knows what happened to Raisi. It's all speculation. It's only eight days away from the death. Uh, and I'm going with the one that I think we need to be most cautious about to avoid nuclear war. China and Iran launched a coordinated aerial assault on Israel following the untimely death of Iran's president, Ebrahim Raisi. The helicopter crash, which resulted in the tragic demise of Raisi, has been shrouded in controversy and intrigue, primarily due to the involvement of an Israeli agent as the pilot. This revelation has sparked a furious response from Iran, culminating in a drastic military response in collaboration with China, significantly escalating tensions in the already volatile Middle East. Before we start, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more updates. The helicopter crash that claimed the life of President Raisi occurred under mysterious circumstances. 
Initial reports from Iranian state media described the crash as an unfortunate accident, but subsequent investigations revealed a more sinister plot. The involvement of an Israeli agent as the pilot fueled speculation and conspiracy theories, with many in Iran's political and military circles accusing Israel of orchestrating the assassination. This narrative quickly gained traction, leading to a surge in anti-Israeli sentiment within Iran and calls for immediate retribution. The Iranian government's response was swift and unequivocal. Military leaders, galvanized by the death of their president, vowed to avenge what they perceived as a direct attack on their sovereignty. The rhetoric of retaliation was not limited to words alone. In a move that surprised many international observers, Iran sought the assistance of China, a key ally and strategic partner. China, which has significant geopolitical interests in the Middle East and a history of opposition to Western influence in the region, agreed to support Iran's military response. This alliance underscored the growing complexity of global alliances and the potential for regional conflicts to escalate into broader confrontations. As the world watched in disbelief, Chinese and Iranian warplanes took to the skies, heading towards Israel. The coordinated attack was a clear demonstration of military prowess and strategic planning. The choice to launch an aerial assault was particularly significant, as it showcased the advanced capabilities of both nations' air forces and their willingness to engage in direct confrontation. The sight of Chinese and Iranian warplanes flying in unison was a stark reminder of the shifting power dynamics in the global arena. In Israel, the news of the attack prompted immediate